Hello everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft video where today I'm going to be visiting my friend's house. Now I know a little bit about fish so he's told me to come around his house and try and figure out what sort of fish he should have for his house because upstairs he has loads and loads of fish tanks and inside his fish tanks he has quite a few fish. He has a Moorish Idol, a Royal Grammar, um, a Puffer Fish, a Yellow Tang, he has a Moonfish, a Blenny, a Dam Sailfish and oh, that's it. So it's up to me now to go ahead and choose which other fish and which other armors I should wear. Pretty much put inside his fish tanks. And downstairs, I have a little surprise for you guys. In my little chest over here, and um, I have sorted out a little area where I can put my fish so they don't escape, um, is our spawners and also our fish netting. So it's going to be so amazing today once we get started. Should we start with the spawners? I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and get out all these spawners and I'll go through them one by one. So the first item we have is the Regal Tang. It's a really nice little blue fish and look at the guy. He's trying to jump over. <laughs> oh, poor little fella. He has to be in the water. What is he doing? That is crazy. Well, I'm going to spawn quite a few of them because they're really nice creatures and they're really trying to jump over that fence. Uh, but that's why I built it because I didn't want them to escape. And we also have the Blenny fish. It's a nice little green fish. There you go. Oh, he's, he jumped over. Blenny is a really smart fish. I'm going to have to spawn quite a few of them just so I can see them. And we can already see a, a little baby fish. Oh, man, they're dying. And we can see here, once you kill them, you get like yellow fish scales. You know, you get the scales of their color, which is quite cool. Maybe I should open it up a little bit just because I don't want them to die. It'd be such a shame if they die. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to spawn the damn selfish. But maybe I should go over here where I can go under the water and see them a bit clearer. So there we go. The damn selfish is a really nice little creature of like blue and yellow. And it's so cool to be able to see these. It's amazing. We also have the royal grammar. Look at that thing. He has like a hundred different colors on him. Like we've got purple, yellow, red. It's amazing. Okay, next up we have the yellow tank, which is just a very simple yellow fish. Really nice creature. Doesn't do much and is very, very quiet. We also have the clownfish and these are my favorites. Oh, I love them so much. And this guy's hovering. What is he doing? What? They're so stupid, the clownfish. They are a bit of a clown though, aren't they? Look, look at them clowning around. <laughs> that is quite crazy. They're acting a bit like dolphins. And why is he hovering for? What's going on? This is so weird. And we also have the moonfish, which I'm hoping is like a moon. Oh, a little bit like a moon. Not bad. It's quite cool, actually. Hopefully, I can see it a bit better once I get nearer. Look at this guy. He has a bit of yellow on his side and his eyes are huge. We also have the puffer fish. And I'm hoping that if I hit it once, it puffs up. No, it doesn't. Now, forgive me, but I'm going to have to hit it again. Oh, man, it doesn't puff up. That is such a shame. But he's very close to the ground. He's a really nice creature, very quiet, doesn't do much at all, to be honest. He's really cool, and I like him. We also have the Moorish Idol, which is a very cool creature. It has, like, a bit of gray and a bit of white on him. And looking around, like, look at this. It's so nice to be able to look around and see fish in your little Minecraft. It's amazing. Now, it doesn't actually stop here. We have so many more things to show you guys. So let's go ahead and go back inside. And I want to get out the fishing nets. Um, the reason why I want to get out the fishing nets is because that's how you catch them to be able to put them inside your fish tanks upstairs. So it's quite cool. Now, where's a fish? Where is a fish? Is there any rounds here? Hmm, maybe I have to go deeper into the water. Where have they all gone? Aha, clownfish jumping up at the water. And come on. Ah. Oh. We need an empty fishbowl to carry fish around. Okay, so let's go ahead and get one. Uh, fishbowl, fishbowl, fishbowl. Perfect. And let's go ahead and get another fish. Come on. Where is the guy? Let's get a puffer fish. And perfect. We got it. We captured a puffer fish. And that's how you pretty much get all the other fish. And getting the nettings is quite cool um, because you can place them around and sort of like go fishing with bigger creatures. But we won't be doing that in this mod today. So let's go ahead and go inside and see what else we can do when we are inside. So I've done that chest and let's go upstairs. Hello. Oh, my friend's not here. That's such a shame. But I want to go over here and where is an empty fish tank? So here we go. This is empty. We go ahead and put our puffer fish inside. And where's our puffer fish? Come on, where's the guy? Oh, there he is. He's inside. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, that's amazing. But we have so many other creatures. We have the clownfish, the regal, you know, everything you can catch outside, we can put it in a fish tank. Let's go ahead and get out our fish scale helmets and weapons and also the lampshade. So we get those out. And are you guys ready for this? 
three, two, one. Good. Good. Perfect. And perfect. Yes. So it says we should be able to now breathe underwater because we have the full outfit on, which is just so great. And we actually look really cool. Look at us with our sunglasses and everything, or our snorkel goggles. They're really, really fancy, actually. I like them a lot. But yeah, this is such a cool weapon. And the fish scale sword is a really nice weapon. It hits a uh, attack damage of 5, and it's really easy to use, to be honest. But thankfully, I don't think I'll be using it in my friend's house today, because the, we are in an awesome village that hopefully nothing ever happens in. Look at these guys. They're discussing where to put fences. It's so basic around here. Maybe I should help them and put a few lampshades in their house. So in here, lampshade, I'm going to put it right on the floor. There you go. And we go ahead and just turn it on, off whenever they need. And it's just perfect. So, where can I find another house? Do you guys mind if I go into your houses? Hello, I'm just, don't, don't mind me. I'm not listening to your conversations. If anything, I can't even understand what you guys are saying. So there you go. Perfect. What do you think? Fabulous, yeah? Fabulous. <laughs> Really cool. And I might put one right here. Perfect. Uh, because these are so easy to obtain. And they're really, really cool. I'm just looking around to see if there's anywhere else I can place it. Maybe right here. Uh, right here. Right there. There. And there. There you go. Just turn them all on. And great. This is so cool. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this fish mod. It's been so amazing. There will be a download link in the description down below. And I really enjoyed this. Which one is your favorite fish, guys? Mine is definitely the clownfish. I love them so much. Tell me what yours is down below in the commentary area, and I would love to find out. And I'll see you all soon with another video. Peace out.